Rob McConnell here, presenting an overview for Nicholas Paul Jinnick's, author of a fascinating book, Amen. It presents facts revealed by Egyptologists, facts that enable us to understand why Amen is the beginning of creation of God. It provides recommendations for religious leaders of the major religions to unify their beliefs and teach the Word of God, love one another. Amen informs people how mankind conceived God. It was the Egyptians that developed the concepts of a soul, a hereafter, and son of God. And finally, after the worship of many gods, they conceived the belief in one universal God, the maker of all there is. For more information, visit www.futureofgodamen.com. That's www.futureofgodamen.com. Explanation Our guest this hour, Philip Camella. His website is www.thecollapseofmaterialism. He's the author of The Collapse of Materialism Visions of Science, Dreams of God. Now, Philip, if this is a dream that we're all having together, how do we know then? that God is real if this is just a dream. Well, it, it, it authenticates God. We don't have to use the word God. Okay. What, what we know, as Descartes said, is that we, we have more certainty over our own mind than any other fact. We know that we could think. Mm-hmm. We know that the mind is capable of dreaming. We have this idea of God in our minds. What I'm saying is, is that the Hindus were correct that, that, the, that Brahman, the united self, is God, and we could prove it when we, when we start understanding that the only possible world, this is where I disagree with you, that the only possible world is a dream. The mm. problem of science right now is they really want two miracles. We know that dreams are possible, and it is a miracle that the, that the mind can conjure up a real world during hallucinations and dreams. But they, want, but they know that's possible. But they also want this big bang, this explosion to come from nothing. And so what we have to do is we have to understand that this is the only possible world. At the end of the day, the truth remains standing. If everything I'm saying is right, it, it will be true today in and in a thousand years from now. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But the point is, is that all these things that are tested against time and by experiments and by human experiences. And if we want to put science and religion together, mm-hmm. this, I think, is the way to do it. So, in, in your theory, when someone dies, is it the end of their existence? I don't know what happens to the soul. The physical body clearly is gone. Mm-hmm. I don't know what happens to the soul, but and I'm not going to speculate upon I do think that there is a good chance that the soul combines with spirit, just like we're taught, and, and, and mixes with spirit, i.e., we've already talked about reincarnation a mm-hmm. little bit, about how that's being possible. But I don't really know, and I think that that's, that's something else that opens up avenues of investigation, what happens after death. But I also mm-hmm. think that life can be longer. I mean, the idea is to dream a better world. That's ultimately not only not only a better peaceful world, a happier world, but a longer life. I'm t- I'm saying write your own story. Don't tell people that you can't be something because you were born in poverty, or 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 you were born you know sh- shorter than other people, or or had some other um, um, it, uh, effect or the condition that 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 uh, held you down. Be whatever you want to be. Write your own story, and this vision of the world allows us to be something more. But if it's a dream, why can't we just will it or manifest it in the dream without doing the actual work? Because we are, we are, are, we are part of a united dream. Only united effort can get us to a better world. We're not in this mm-hmm. place to, by ourselves. Brotherhood, morality, key is the key to building a better world, not only for everybody, but for ourselves. We have to unite in physical form, 
that which is united at the spiritual level. That's the ultimate goal, peace on this earth. Philip, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Uh, It's been a rather interesting conversation. I don't agree with your theory. Uh, So I'm still going to go to work this week. I'm still going to pay my taxes. I'm still going to buy food. I'm still going to put fuel in my car. Because, you know what? In my world, this is reality. Uh, And I can tell the difference when I'm asleep or awake because when I'm asleep... I can't read signs. I can't read the newspaper. And that way there, I know it's a dream. I'll be back on the other side of this break at uh, six and a half minutes past the top of the hour as we continue here in the X-Zone in the world of reality. 